Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a question and answer in regards to the wedding. So I will be answering questions that I got asked on Instagram. I'm also going to do a little bit of a haul at the end on some things that we've already got for the wedding, but I may as well just get straight into it. Uh, so the first question is, do you have a wedding budget? The answer is yes. I'm not going to say what it is because yeah. Do you have a budget on your dress? Did you go over or under? I did have a price in mind for my dress that I didn't want to go over. However, I definitely went over, <laughs> but I couldn't say no. Like I absolutely love my dress. Like, oh, I just get so excited. Where are you getting married? What's your venue? We're getting married in Queensland. The venue itself is called Pacific Beach Function Center. And the good thing about them is they actually have like private land on the beach. So you can have your ceremony down on the beach and then we can go off like the bridal party goes off and gets their photos and the reception is in the function center which is just behind that private beach part. It's like all in the one spot so guests don't have to move or anything which is awesome. Do you have a wedding planner? So yes, her name is Kate and her like Instagram handle thingy majiggy is the Gold Coast Bride, I'm pretty sure. She actually owns the venue that we're having it at and she has like a wedding coordinator, planning, stylist company as well that she owns and people work for her through that. So we've hired her just so that like I can actually enjoy the day and I don't have to worry about, you know, going here, there and everywhere and all the vendors and that sort of stuff, they'll just like directly contact her. And that leads into my next question. Do you have all your vendors organized? So we just wanted to get like deposits out of the way for everything, pay all the deposits, and then we could just kind of pay everything off as we go over the next nine months. Yeah, we got all like our big things locked in straight away. Our photographer and videographer are actually a husband and wife. They have a company together. So one of them, like they'll have both of them there on the day. One's taking photos and one's doing the video. So that was a big chunk of the budget. <laughs> but that's like one thing that I wanted to like focus on, if that makes sense. Like there's a lot of like little things, but there is like things that, you know, you want to focus your money on. Like the wedding will be over like that. And the only thing that you're really going to take away from it is the memories. So photos and videos and that sort of stuff of the day. And that's something, you know, we can show Micah and future babies and that sort of stuff as well. That's like one thing that we really wanted to focus our budget on. So yeah, photographer, videographer, was like one of the first things we locked in. We also locked in catering company, which actually turned out really cheap. When I was looking to have the wedding here in Aubrey, I could not find anywhere that wasn't under like $80 a head for food. And then you had to have a drinks package on top of that, which was like $90 per person. So that's like $170 per person for food and drinks. And it was just like ridiculous to me, but that actually turned out really cheap, the caterers. I think they were like $24.50 a head or something. So I was like stoked with that when they said yes, because they said that they only had one spot left for October. So I kind of got onto them at the right time. And that was the same with the photographer and videographer. They were only taking one more wedding on for the month of October. So I was so lucky to get those two. Oh, the venue, obviously we locked that in first. And then obviously we locked in the coordinator, planner, stylist with um, the Gold Coast Bride. So that's all locked in as well. And then what else? Oh, the celebrant. I absolutely love our celebrant. Like she replies to me like that. And she's just so, so nice. And she's so funny. So I just like, the ceremony is just gonna be amazing. I just can't wait for that. What else? Wait on, let me get my little book. Yes, this is my wedding planner journal. I honestly couldn't find one that I like liked. So I've just like done it all myself. A wedding cake. Wedding cakes are like ridiculous. I kind of wish I wasn't having one and just did like a donut wall or something. Yeah, the price on wedding cakes is just ridiculous, but that's all deposit paid and everything. Furniture hire. So the venue that we have comes with most things apart from the tables that are like the tables that they have there. Uh, there is a balcony, sorry, as well. So there's a balcony outside that overlooks the beach and that sort of stuff. And they have like um, tall, like cocktail bar tables and then like your little bar stools around them. I think they fit like three or four people. So they're included. And then all your chairs inside and everything are included. But the tables that they had are like those traditional like round ones. And I just really 
don't like them because I didn't want to do like a formal sit down like have to place people and all that like I just want everyone to be able to roam free and you know sit with whoever they want to sit with we just hired like cocktail style tables what else hair and makeup so that was like one of the last things that I've done actually having six people getting hair and makeup done they said that they like to be done an hour before the ceremony starts. Yeah, they're aiming to be finished by 2.30 and they said that it would be a nine o'clock start, but because I've got six people that it's gonna be a 7.30 start. I think the mothers might have to go first for hair and makeup <laughs> because I'm definitely going last. We've got like another like, little surprise thing there that we kind of paid for, which I'm not going to say in case anyone that's actually coming to the wedding watches this. And then I paid for like a lot of like decorations and like my own little touches that I want to take and have there. All right, next question. What date are you getting married? All being well, we're getting married on the 10th of the 10th, 2022 at 3.30. So I've got a lot of double numbers there. Did you do invitations and RSVP cards? So uh, we did invitations. I don't like RSVP cards though, so I did a RSVP website. So everyone just RSVPs on the website and then it's like all collated. So they've got like a song request and then also a question about like dietary requirements and that sort of stuff. So when it gets a bit closer, I can literally just pull up the Excel report, who said yes, who said no, if they've got any dietary requirements, any song requests. Yeah, that's just so much easier than having to get people to send back RSVP cards. Have you got your dress? Yes, so I have got my dress. Oh, well, I haven't got it with me. Do you have a color theme slash palette? Yeah, we are going blush pink, like sandy beige and white. Are you booking transportation, e.g. Uh, e a limo to the wedding? No, probably not. Where we come in for the wedding, we aren't seen at all. Like the people and the ceremony and that sort of stuff will be down on the beach. And then like the big function center is there. And then you drive in this way, but the function center blocks off like the car park. And then we have to like kind of walk around and then walk down to the ceremony. Although I would have loved to like rock up in like a G-Wagon or something. <laughs> That's just pointless, pointless money. Do you have a wedding gift registry? No. Like I had people say like, what can we get you for a wedding present and da 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 and I was like, honestly, just write me like a note in a card. Like I don't, I don't really want anything. But we just kind of suggested like flights and a voucher or like money or whatnot to go towards our honeymoon when we eventually have one because we won't be having one straight away. Oh, do you have a honeymoon planned and booked? That was the next question. No. So no, nothing's planned or booked or anything and would love to go to America and you know, take Jade there on like a big sports trip and go around to like all different cities and go and watch all basketball games. That's more like kind of thinking, but who knows when that's gonna happen. <laughs> what flavor is your cake? <laughs> that's a cool question. Uh, not many people ask that, hey. Our cake, I'm honestly really not a cake person. Plus we're there on holidays, so like I don't wanna have to be taking a cake back to a motel that's the cake's probably not gonna fit in the motel fridge. I've been to like a couple of weddings and not many people actually eat the wedding cake. So I'm just like, I was like umming and ahhing about actually having one, but then I thought, oh, well, probably should. So we just went with like a one tier cake, which is just gonna be so pretty. Like, um, yeah, I've been talking to the baker and all that sort of stuff about the designs and everything. And um, yeah, I can't wait for that, but um, it's actually vanilla bean, like I'm not like a chocolate cake person, I hate chocolate cake, like yeah, I honestly don't really like cake to be honest, but like I love like a sponge or like a vanilla, like you know. Are you having a rehearsal dinner? No, we're not having a rehearsal. Are you having wedding favours? Yes, we are. Are you having flowers? Not real big on like overpowering like plants and flowers and that sort of stuff, like I just find that I have like a lot, sometimes it can take away the focus if that makes sense and I just don't really want that but we will be having I'm having um dried flowers bouquets and um the men's buttonholes it's all yeah dried flowers are you having a band or a dj I'm having neither just doing like spotify playlists and that sort of stuff for the wedding so everyone's 
um, with their RSVPs putting in song requests and we're just literally just going to be playing songs through Spotify all night. Are you doing just beer and wine? So we're doing two beers, two wines and one spirit. But that's going to that's gonna be it for the question and answer. But what I will do is I said that I would give you a little bit of a haul of some of the things that we got. Like decorations and that sort of stuff. So I'll do that now. I'm also right next to my son's room and he's asleep so I need to be quiet but I will show you some of the things that I've already got. Okay so I don't know if you can see this but this is going on like our table with our wishing well and we've got oh my god you cannot see this we've got our cake topper got this sign so it says photo guest book snap it stick it sign it we got two like little polaroid cameras and then like backup film because instead of a like wedding guest book that people just sign the names we're doing like a photo guest book so that's just this like plain black album and people will be able to stick their little polaroid photo so we're just going to get everyone to take a photo and then we'll have like some nice pens and stuff and they'll just write in there. You can't see. But we're having a we're having a wishing well as well. So it literally just says the jurors and our wedding date. Right, so this is our wedding sign. I don't know if you can even see that or read that. It comes in two parts. So it's gonna be like this and then on like an iron easel. So it says welcome to the wedding of Georgie and Jade and then our wedding date. And then this little one. It says, pick a seat, not a side. You're loved by both the groom and the bride. And then our wedding hashtag, which is hashtag get your duo on. So yeah, I absolutely love that sign. Like so much. The girl has like handwritten them. But anyway, I think my little man is like fully awake now. So yeah, that will do it for today's video. I'm going to go do mum duties now. So I hope that you liked the video. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.